Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a quick candle review on the Bath & Body Works, White Barn, whatever you want to call it, Toasted Vanilla Chai 3 Wick Candle. So I am going to start off with the scent notes of this. It is Herbal Chai, Toasted Vanilla Bean, and Marshmallow. So not like really crazy notes that are very simple in my opinion. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, do I think it smells like those notes? I feel like the notes are kind of misleading personally. So to me, chai, when people say the scent notes are chai or when I smell things that contain the scent note chai, typically to me it comes off more of like a savory type of smell. Like it's a little bit almost spicy in a way. And I mean, I do believe, oh sorry, I do believe that is how it is if you like get a drink with chai or like a chai drink you know it's just a little bit more spicy or savory in nature so when i see the notes on this candle that say herbal chai i think it's going to be very much that spicy um more savory type of note and honestly to me I don't know if it's just the vanilla bean and the marshmallow really sweetening it up, but to me, this is a very like sweet version of chai. I find this candle to be very sweet, and I think that's why I like it so much. I think if it was more of that savory chai, I wouldn't be as inclined to it. I had had the soap in the past, so I did know what this smelled like. I think not knowing what kind of chai was in here or like what that chai would really smell like i may have been steered away but i think because i had smelled the soap i knew what i was getting into it's a very very sweet candle in my opinion um the chai is not savory in any way and i don't know if that's just how they made it is it the combination of all the notes together i, I really don't smell any spiciness it's really only sweet so um, I want to talk about how I've used it so far. So I've used it under the candle lamp um, for probably about three or four mornings for about an hour each. And then I did do a pour off of just the top layer on the last day. And then today I have had it going for probably about a good five hours. I don't know if you can tell the wax pool here is maybe like an inch or so. Also, this is a luminary candle. I don't know if you can tell like right here where that, you know, where it is luminary. It obviously is not the same effect when it's not burning, but you can see through the candle. And I don't know if you can see to the back there, like that's a luminary cutout. You can kind of tell while it's under the candle lamp, but I do definitely do feel like it's not exactly the same effect as it would be when burning. Um, but I've exclusively used this under the candle lamp. I do feel like it's performing a lot better than it would be burning um, because I do feel like if this was lit, the wicks would really overpower, like that burning smell would really overpower this candle. That's just my opinion. Obviously, people have different luck with candles, but I seem to have a really drafty house, <laughs> apparently, and I get a lot of kerosene smell when I burn candles, and my wicks tend to really go crazy. So, um... That's just kind of my opinion on the candle lamp. I'm really glad I have this under the candle lamp because of that. And I feel like it's performing really, really well. Also, I do just want to point out one more thing with the candle lamp while I'm talking about it. I do believe I might have touched on this last time. But at the bottom of the lamp, I don't know how much you'll be able to see. But I have actually, this is a like top from a candle warmer. Um, like something you'd actually milk wax in. I have it tipped over and then this is the lid of this candle and I think it props it up to the perfect height because it is a three wick and it is shorter. It props it up to just like about the perfect distance to the top of the candle lamp. I find that works the best for my performance. Um, the actual performance of this candle though, I feel like it's fairly strong. But for me, the throw is very minimal. This doesn't travel around my whole open concept like some candles do. I do find that this kind of needs a little bit of airflow to get moving and throwing decently. Um, like I said, I feel like it is strong. Like when you're up close to it, I feel like you can really, really smell it and get those notes. Once again, that could be part of it being under the candle lamp though. I'm not getting that burning smell throughout my entire house. 
but I find the actual scent of the candle is not traveling as far. And I don't know if it's because it's more heavy on those marshmallow, vanilla bean, you know, those like foo-foo bakery scents that aren't really like solid, you know, pie crust, like things that are really, really scented. I mean, how strong can marshmallow really be? You know what I mean? So I don't know if that's playing into why it's not throwing as far, but I do really enjoy the scent and I 100% would repurchase this candle. I do think it is an online exclusive. I have it pulled up on the website and it says not eligible for pickup. So I don't know if that's, that means it's an online exclusive um, because typically if it's just not at my store, it just says unavailable at your store. Not that it's not eligible for pickup. So I'm thinking it's an online exclusive. Um, sometimes though people buy online exclusives and then return them to your store. So it's not that you won't see this in your store maybe, even if it is. Um, but I did do a purchase online and I think that's why I got this, but typically I like to do the pickup in store. I, I generally don't like to pay for the shipping. So I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, I think you guys should check it out. <laughs> I definitely recommend it. Um, let me know if you've tried it down below and I'll wait to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching.